everybody. It's Annette Green here. Uh, a little something different going on today. Uh, the fine folks at 49 and Market contacted me and said, hey, how would you like a box of goodies? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> so I thought that I would do a little unboxing of what they sent me and share it with you. Okay, first of all, let's just take a look at how generous. This box is full to the top. So I'm gonna scooch the box out of the way a bit. Okay, first up is, and I know this is brand new because I've been seeing it just being released, is the Sunburst collection. There's the chipboard word set and the what they just call the Sunburst chipboard set. So I've got all these wonderful pieces in here. Oh, so fun. Oh my gosh. And then all these wonderful words in this particular package. So that's going to be really fun to play with. I'm already having ideas of what I'm going to do. Okay, so we have some flowers, and we all know how great their flowers are, of course. 49 Market, kind of, that's how I got started with them, is buying their pretty flowers. So these are the Royal Posies over here, and these are called Wildflowers, and they're this beautiful punch color. Oh, this is like tomato, it says, Royal Posies and tomato. Okay, and then I found this little washi tape sticker roll. Oh, this is fun. Look at how cute this is. Oh, I love washi, and I love washi stickers, so this is really fun. It's got a lot of, um, like, whoop, I don't want to peel that up. Uh, beachy, starfish, you know, just generic fun stuff in there for uh, perhaps tropical vacation or summer memories. It does say beachy there, and there's some clips, so that's fun. And then we've got, oh, I've got this really zoomed in here. Let's come out a little bit. Uh, these are Christmas Spectacular, which is a wonderful line. I've already been playing with those papers. Christmas Spectacular chipboard word set. So all those big words in there again. Those are going to be so much fun to play with in my planner. Uh, washi tape assortment in that uh, Christmas Spectacular line. Oh, I don't have these yet. These are beautiful. There's three different size rolls in there. So pretty. Look at that with the vintage Santa and all those images and then the words and then the peppermint stripe which I love and then this is the same line in the postage stamp washi tape which I'm just a super big fan of anything postage postal um, oh gosh I'm just tearing it up I'm so excited to get in it <laughs> uh, oh and these are a good size I have a smaller size I think over there uh, no, I think the Christmas ones are a little bigger. They're like the actual size of a postage stamp. So those are fun. Totally annihilated that box. I've got some tickets over here that are not in any kind of box. I got some random tickets. <laughs> those are fun to play with. These are like a bright green. So I would say those are going to go nicely with the very bright colors in the Sunburst collection. Okay out even a little more because I got some great albums here. Look at these. One, two, three. Uh, for now, I think just three, but this is a nine and a quarter by seven by three and a quarter inch thick album. It's called a Create an Album Wide Chunky Album Cover in Black. Now, you see nothing in here because we're going to get to that. I didn't know about this yet. And this one is um, seven and a quarter by nine by three and a quarter again. So super thick and chunky, same thing, white. And then this one is just a, the same size as far as dimensions this way, but two inches wide on the spine. Uh, again, nothing here. Okay. And then this is the really intriguing part. So, you know, that whole create an album thing, uh, they also included in my kit create an album binder mechanism and you get two in a pack and so there are the binder clips and i don't want to break it is this how we open it we just pull it up pull it apart i think oh okay all right well i need to read about it i think i may have done it wrong um, but there's two binder clips and then they give you adhesive strips to put them into your album uh, add a strip of adhesive included to the flat base of the binder mechanism and stick it in your album. So I'm thinking you might have to have probably two, depending on what you do in your album maybe. 
Uh, I don't know that you would do it this way. So I have to do a little investigating and playing around and see. Yeah, that, that does kind of click in place. So maybe that's what you have to do. You just have to pull them apart. Uh, so then you need a punch, right? So there's some white and there's some black. So there's a create an album binder punch. Perfect. Look at that thing. It's made of metal, precise and easy to use with little force, anti-slide base, self-locking feature for easy storage and safety. Uh, so this is designed especially for uh, the holes that would line up with their um, binder clips, binder mechanisms. Ooh, fun. So it's got this little extendo thing here to move down your page. Um, I'm looking to where it, oh, it has a little tray to dump out the bits after you've punched. It's very heavy duty, very nice. So I'm going to look into how that works and try to create something pretty in an album. Okay, and I hope you don't mind that I'm, I'm just all over the place. I'm just pulling it out as it's in the box. So uh, it's going to shift from a certain collection to another. I see this is going back to the Christmas Spectacular and this is the Christmas Spectacular chipboard frames. So you get all these beautiful frames. You can just pop your photos in there or your journaling. Uh, super easy to do, already cut out, lovely. And then here we have Vintage Artistry Sunburst Spiral Notebook Set. Now I have this in the, um, what that travel line was called. It's over there in the closet. I need to pull it out and take a look. But uh, these are super fun little, this, oh, this would be great with kids going on a trip to document their own trip in a small little already made spiral book. You get uh, two different sizes in here. Look at how beautiful that is. And so you could decorate the front with those chipboard elements, uh, with rub-ons. Look at how beautiful. Ooh, this is gorgeous. This would be great for a cruise or any trip really, but it's very tropical in nature. So that's why my brain goes to cruise. Really, really pretty. Okay, there's that. And then we have, uh, what is this? Create an album, tall book pages in the white. So I am familiar with these from the other albums that they used to carry. You've got a horizontal, horizontal fold over, uh, two of the vertical fold overs. You got two of those as well. Uh, eight single pages. So these are like pre-cut and sized to the albums. And it says works with both the tall and the chunky album covers. So this is the tall chunky and this is the tall standard. So those are sized to fit that. Um, now, can you use it in the wide one? No, because there are score lines on the left edge of some of these, and that would only be for the tall album. But yes, you've got the spine hinge to get all your pages in there. They just made it so easy for you. It's all done and ready in there. So that's fun. Okay, what's this we got here? This is Christmas Spectacular 2023 Cluster Kit. Ooh, I've never bought a cluster kit. I want to look at these. First of all, I'm a packaging and organizing junkie. I love th this pouch this comes in. It's really nice. Not something you would throw away. Beautiful. Uh, so we've got some buttons in here and elastic and some cute little clips, little black paper clips little green edge on some of the buttons. Oh, so fun, so fun. And then this is a sheet of chipboard. So you just pop these things out. I don't wanna pop them out yet because I wanna keep everything together, but they're all like ready to go. Just pop them out. And then we've got a sheet, how many sheets? Well, it looks like several of these laser cuts, which their laser cuts are always so beautiful. Look at this with the doilies and the Santa and the post and the, uh, Mm, what do we call that? Pine, pine bow. And then another sheet with all these goodies on it. Oh my goodness, so pretty, so pretty. And then we've got these cute little pieces, little extras for like maybe a photo mat. Look at this little envelope, uh, a couple of envelopes. Another envelope, a couple of other things that you can fussy cut out. These are not cut out for you. And they do give you some little suggestions. Let's see if there's anything on the other side of any of these other things like this one. No. Okay, so 
you can go on their website, I'm sure, and their social media and find all kinds of suggested ideas for this particular kit. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm just blown away. There's so much here. Uh, okay, so this is Wishing Bubbles and Baubles for the Christmas Spectacular line. Look at all that fun stuff. Oh my Lord, I'm gonna have so much fun. When am I gonna find time? That's the problem. Uh, ticketed ephemera. Oh, that's right up my alley. Totally love it. Look at all that stuff that you get in the package. And it's all cut out already. Quick, easy, just ink it up, stick it down. Mm, mm, mm. Love that. This is Date Essentials 01 Rub-On Transfers. And man, I love me a good rub-on. So I've got two packages here. This one has little calendars and even littler calendars. And then this is on the other uh, sheet. How many sheets? Two six by eight sheets. So you get these as well. Oh, fun. Uh, the Stitching Essentials 01. And these are also rub-ons. You get two sheets here. Look at the stitches. I love the stitches. And then more in the back with the hearts and all this good stuff. Super fun. Some more Christmas Spectacular. These are the ephemera bits. And, and this is typically what I would buy in their lines when I buy their stuff. Oh my goodness. I, we have to take a look at just a few things in here. I mean, these are always just loaded. Loaded. Look at how much stuff is in here. And now I've got to get it all back in here. But, oh my goodness. Look at, look at all the... Okay, so you have some big pieces that are super fun for in the background, right? To layer things on. You've got tags. You've got Christmas trees, poinsettias, cute little bingo cards I love. And then like vintage from uh, vintage Christmas cards. I love that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Just look at all this. And then all these big, giant, beautiful words. You could make a Christmas album. Mm, maybe that's what I'll do. Just a Christmas album. More bingo cards, more Santa. Oh my gosh, look at, and there's just so much more here. And then all these little tiny things too, to play with. So I'm just gonna scooch those over. I don't wanna not get them in the package later. And then we've got film strip frames. And I have not worked with these yet, but oh my goodness, look at these. And they're, they're um, like plastic. And so they're a little translucent and you can layer things behind them. Uh, you can layer them together. There's all different colors and configurations and sizes. Oh my goodness, fun. And then these I have had the pleasure of working with already when I was designing uh, one of my classes for the cruise in November. And that is, we're gonna do a little Christmas class. So these are a, a pack of rub-ons, six different pages. Each person on the cruise is gonna get their own pack of these with the rub-on stick and um, yeah, I'll get to show you those later if you haven't seen them in a previous video. No, I'm not done yet. Here's some more rub-ons. Uh, let's see. 2023 Classic Rub-On Transfer Set. So this one is quite different than that one I just showed you. Oh, let's just open it. Let's take a look. Because I want to see, I want to see it bigger than this. I want to see the difference. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Look at the Christmas lights. I just, I love the splatter, like something about those little splatter bits all the time on all of their designs. It just, it just makes it, I don't know what it is. It's just a little filler thing. That's just perfect. I love it. So these vintage Santas are great. Look at the bells and the bows and the mistletoe and the poinsettias and the candy cane, and then all kinds of words. These would be great for really quick Christmas cards and tags for the holidays. Love, love, love it. Look at that one with the splatters and the music notes and the trees. Gorgeous. So that's a little different than that first uh, rub-on kit I showed hey, you. I still have quite a few more things over there. It's unbelievable. This is, again, back to the sunburst. This is the ephemera bits. So just like I showed you with the Christmas, the ephemera bits in the sunburst. Um, Gosh, so much fun this is gonna be because everything's already, like look at all this. It's all done for you. I'm not gonna pull all these out, but my goodness. Oh, and then we've got the Sunburst Rub-On Transfer Set. Oh, 
feel like we should take these out too, should we? Well, okay, I'll show you this first. Uh, because we just saw film strips, you get the idea here. But look at the colors in this sunburst set. Oh my goodness, how fun. Wow. Totally love that. Uh, I gotta make something for next summer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Because summer's already gone. I've already made a summer planner this year. Um, but I am going on a cruise in November, so I don't know. It just depends how much time I have, but oh, I just love their rub-ons. Look at that. Katie Pertit. Pertit. I hope I get that right. Um, is the designer. Her name is on everything. You, you just can't forget and miss her style. It's so distinct and so beautiful. So watercolory. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm truly seeing this for the first time and my reaction is very authentic. I have to say, oof, the palm trees are gorgeous. And then mm, I love when she works in a little bit of map action with her designs. And then this one is like line art with a little watercolor wash behind it. And then of course all your wonderful words just for quick, quick embellishment with your rub on stick. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else have I got? I've got some more sunbursts. This is uh, the laser cuts. Look at all the stuff that you get in here. So just like the other one, these are already cut out. You just pop them out of the sheet, maybe ink the edges if you do that. Um, and how many sheets are in here? I believe there's uh, four sheets full of good stuff in there. So beautiful. Uh, let's see. Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas. So speaking of laser cuts, this is back to this Christmas spectacular. This is the general laser cut elements. So you can see all that stuff there. Uh, ornaments, trees, ribbon, little cards, um, pine bough, uh, postage, bells, all kinds of goodies in there. So fun, pine cones. And then this one is called greenery laser cut elements so of course there is all that so so beautiful there's no way i'm going to be able to work with all this stuff <laughs> okay uh let's see we're going to stick with christmas i see a little bit more sunburst over here oh, look at this is a stack right here okay, so this is also christmas spectacular sentiments rub on transfer sheet giant 12 by 12 so this would be great for you 12 by 12 layout people but also i could work this into a christmas card i could work this into a planner page turned on its side you could spread this across a page in a smaller album uh, certainly with these albums that they sent me you can get these things to work beautifully um, so how many sheets are here? You get one big sheet in this package. I've not ever worked with the 12 by 12 before, so that's cool. Okay, and then uh, one of my favorites that they do are the foundations packs because I love the paper collections. I have worked with this one quite a bit, uh, but I didn't purchase the foundations pack this time, and sometimes I do. So uh, obviously it shows here that these are more solid with a little texture. Let's take them out. I like the sound of opening those plastic things anyway. Oh, look at that. Woo! And so that, you only get one of those, I believe. I believe. We'll see. No, no. Yes, this is the exclusive 12 by 12 pattern on the back side of this cover sheet. So you'll only get one of those. Cherish it. That's beautiful. Uh, but the rest of them are things like this. So you'll get two sheets of each of these. So you get a really nice solid color with a little texture. It's a little cloudy and a little bit of crosshatchy and then you get this really painty side so that's gorgeous and then you got your green same kind of deal and then you got your black cool you always need a good deep rich black and then you've got this golden kind of yellow which is beautiful look at that i love that okay that's the foundations now we'll look at the actual paper pack okay so the 12 by 12 paper pack like i said i've, I've got to play with some of this stuff for the cruise, I ordered um, by the sheet rather than the full collection because, um, you know, we're just doing a few tags and cards, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is gorgeous. There's your little cut apart page that they're famous for 
when they have a paper collection you get on the back of their cover sheet you get all these little cut aparts so that's always fun and then we have this one they call this one welcome and so oh, yeah this is one that i purchased i love all the words and dictionary things for christmas time on there so you've got that one and this is called hidden holly which is bordering on the sides i also purchased this one loved it love that dot on the back this one spruce gorgeous really gorgeous and the green i did purchase that one too uh exemplified this is super fun and then that check on the back i think i purchased that one too i think i purchased <laughs> four of them i don't know uh, this one is called homespun and man if i was a 12 by 12 page layout person anymore like i used to be this would be the very first paper that I would use and just put one big beautiful photo in here and start layering up all those laser cuts. The backside has this nice repeating pattern of candy canes and holly. Beautiful. This one is called the spirit. It's just a beautiful white with a little textural things going on and this floating through the middle with this gorgeous plaid on the back. Totally love that. This one is called vignettes for good reason. You got all these wonderful vintage uh, it looks like Christmas postcards, Christmas card, imagery, all for cutting apart. And then I call this the peppermint stripe. Love that. And then this one is called postmark. You got a lot of postage going on in here, which I love. A little uh, indicia there. And then, of course, all the greenery is just beautiful. And then this gorgeous stripe on the back. Okay, and so before I move on to anything else I want to show you these are the cards and tags that we're going to make on the cruise we have to keep it fairly simple because a lot of times on cruises we have brand new crafters so uh, I believe between the beautiful 49 and market papers and my new splendid season collection of dies and stamps that I think it's going to be fairly easy for everyone to do but here is definitely a card using the paper I just showed you and even on the inside and they're all going to get a pack of rub-ons and have just a blast. Even the postage stamp, the washi postage stamps are going to be in their kit too. And here's another card. There's one of those bingo cards I showed you. And this is one of my dies, but look at that gorgeous paper. Rub-ons. And there's that one paper we just talked about with some rub-ons and another deer from my collection. So they're going to make two. And then a third card here. That is a big five by seven easel, which is kind of hard to show this away, but gorgeous, right? Really, really, really pretty. Rub-ons. Sometimes it's right in the paper, sometimes it's rub-on, sometimes you can't tell, which is beautiful, right? And then they're going to make three little tags using the paper as well, the rub-ons as well, and then uh, my stamps from my new uh, festive season collection in the Splendid Season line. So I just want to share those with okay, you. Back to the loot. We have the Sunburst Collection Pack. Oh my gosh. And then we have the Sunburst Foundations Pack. So look at it. I'm not going to pull all these out because you saw, you got kind of the idea uh, of how they do the foundations. But look at those colors and those prints and that little bit of like netting, like fishing netting, I guess. And then we do have to pull this out and take a look. But before we do, let's look at these. Uh, 12 by 12 rub-ons, pack one. What do we call this one? Sentiments rub-ons. Oh, goodness me, look at that. Look at that. Sun-kissed, happy, hello, fun. Beach more, worry less. Beautiful. Uh, another one, 12 by 12. This one is the classic rub-on transfer sheet. This makes everyone look like like a watercolorist artist in their in their projects. It's just, I mean, that's why I love it. it makes me look great. Okay, and then I guess I have one more of these classic rub-on sheets in the Christmas Spectacular, with that vintage Santa and the presents and the ah oh, the poinsettias, so pretty. Okay, and so this is the last item, and we're gonna look at it because I've got to take a look up close and personal. Okay, here we go. This is the collection set for Sunburst. Oh boy, look at that. There it is. Love the map. I love to fussy cut, so I'm going to enjoy these so much. But if you didn't like to fussy cut, you can do the laser cuts, um, 
the die cuts, the rub-ons, you know, it has a lot of these similar images, but these are that nice thick cardstock, so it's really nice for layering up. And then look at this one. This one is called Ray of Sunshine, which totally is an apt name for this page. Look at that. In the back, ooh, I like that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at it. Yeah, see the map thing, like the globe thing she's worked in there. Just so beautiful. This is called, it's a little bit hard to read that name actually. I want to say it says a, a bash, a bash in paradise. A basque? A basque. <laughs> uh, the font is a little small and, and hard to read, but oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe I'll have to design some things and like write a tutorial for you guys. Slap it in my Etsy shop for like 10 bucks or whatever, 12 bucks. This one is called Hidden Treasure. Yes, love that map stuff in the background. This is so pretty, the seahorse. And then, oh, look at that. And let's not forget these little, I call them zip strips because that's what we always used to call them when I was a close to my heart consultant. Those are, those are really nice decorative elements that you can use as borders in your projects. This one is called Lost Island. <laughs> just stunning. I just love it. Really excellent. Did I show the back? Yeah. So this is nice and neutral kind of for certain things that comes in handy. Flamingo Terrace, this one's called. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, you can see here, if you 12 by 12 scrapbook, uh, there's like a little stitched frame right there for you to kind of just say, all right, I'm gonna I'm cut a little, you know, put a cut here and put a cut here and put my photo underneath there where those things are coming forward with my photos in the background. That's the first thing I think of when I look at this page. It's so pretty. Ooh, and look at that. Just a good old watercolor wash. And then again, with that zip strip, so pretty. Oh, Butterfly Corsage. I wonder if I can figure out the name of that one sheet by looking at the letters and some of these others. I just hate to call it the wrong thing, you know? So I'm looking for an H or a K. I'm gonna figure it out for you guys. I'll let you know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> sidetracked. Butterfly corsage. Gorgeous. This really could be used for so many things, but there's that map in the background. Isn't that beautiful? Just love it. And then, wow, look at that. Oh, and this is one of my favorite border strips yet with the pineapples of all different colors. Okay, defining summer. Oh my gosh, this one's fun. Look at it. It's all these different um, dictionary phrases and definitions all mixed and collaged perfectly together and then teeny tiny little images that you would see in the dictionary and then just splatters of the color. I just love that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And this pink strip. That's beautiful. Oh, fun. This one's called Azure Seaside. Azure. 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 <laughs> beautiful blue all over postage. That's so fun. And then, oh, gorgeous. Map, map, map. Love it. And then we've got this zip strip here. So my goodness, uh, I'm going to call this part one, this video, because there's no way that I am ever going to get this video completely done with all the different things that I could make with all these different things. So I'm just going to start this one as the unboxing part one and then each time I make a project with some of the things in here I will go on to part two or three etc just so I don't feel a lot of pressure to make a ton of stuff all at once with my schedule such that it is so uh, I hope that you'll kind of follow along we'll call this a little sub series within my weekly series and uh, oh, I can't wait to have fun with some of this stuff and share it with you guys so thanks for checking it out today and I'll see you very soon in the next video